School rules are needed to protect students' educational experiences from any confusion or disruption. So it is valuable, but there comes a point where schools are now dragging it and now out in the most PS and the most unnecessary rules that's not only not needed, but straight dumb as well. I heard in some schools, you are not allowed to drink water in class without asking permission from the teacher. So imagine if it's a hot ass day, the class is bare hot and a student needs to drink water so she has no choice but to have a sip from her bottle. The teacher catches her having a sip and says, excuse me, but did you ask me before having a sip? Huh? Mr. Brown or Mr. Smith or whatever your name is, I can't even lie, it's hotter than a motherfucker so as far as I'm concerned, I don't want to end up looking like this. Besides, I just drank water. It's literally not that deep. Right. How dare you speak to me like that? That's it. You're getting a 30 minute detention after school for drinking water without my permission and talking back to me. So I get a detention for catering to my own survival. And that's not even the worst part of the rules. Like, oh my word, this one is universally agreed. How come you're not allowed to use the toilets or the bathroom when you need to? Man, one time in secondary school, I needed a toilet so bad that if I kept holding it in, my dick would have given up and I would have pissed myself. So I asked the teacher, can I pop to the toilet real quick? I actually need it so bad. He looked at me and knew that I was desperate to go so bad, like he knew I wasn't even lying. Blood. My face was like this. So knowing that I actually needed it, Bo really done just said, Shishin do your work, Isaac. You should have gone to the toilet on break time or recess. What? What do you mean I should have gone at break time? I'm asking you to go now, you fool. Break was like an hour ago, man. If I had to go to a piss at break time, of course I would have went. Like these teachers really think we can control where we need to go to the toilet or something. This teacher really made me repeat myself and ask again. Please, can I use the toilet? I actually need it. And the teacher says, Absolutely not. Plus for making me say no twice, you're getting a 15 minute detention at lunch. Yep. Now, I'm really mad. You know what? Fine. You're right. I should have gone at break time. So I will just sit down and let's see what just happened. Yes, I just pissed myself. Look what you've done, you mug. Also, I refuse to believe that most schools stress the fuck out to reinforce these ridiculous school uniform rules and dress codes. For example, why do you still have to wear blazers at all times even on a hot ass sunny ass day? It's like 20 degrees. We don't want to be stinking like some garbage clans on rubbish. So let us just take them shit off and cool down, please. Or in the winter where you're not allowed to wear your jackets, gloves and body warmers in class. The school heating has been vandalized for God's sake. So the least you could allow me to do is to keep warm. And also wearing anything associated with red and blue is banned because apparently it links to gang affiliation. How is this even a thing? <laughs> This is so retarded. So imagine your Irish school kid is going to school wearing an outfit with a red t-shirt. He sees his favorite teacher. He is happy. So he approaches her and says, Good morning, miss. I'm really looking forward to your lesson. And the teacher proceeds to ask, Why are you wearing a red t-shirt? It's not allowed because it might start a gang war. What? I am sorry, but how do you associate this kid with trying to start a gang war in school? But the teacher still proceeds to say, I am sorry, but I have to send you home to change it. You see how plain weird that is. You also couldn't dye or put accessories on your hair, wear jewelry or wear sunglasses. It's ironic because teachers always preach that, oh, you have to be unique and be yourself. But it reinforced these stupid dress code rules that make them look a certain way. The girls were not allowed to wear leggings, ankle socks, crop tops or skirts below their knees or anything provocative as they could turn on the boys. I'm pretty sure you idiots that reinforce these rules don't know the dynamics of girls and boys and the boys can't have any facial hair of some sort. Like I'm so confused because how does any of this affect our learning in class? Like no one's going to be paying attention to some motherfucker who decided to put bees on their head. Like these balls are ass teachers man, what's wrong with you? Pattern up. Another school is that we're only allowed to use black pens only. No blue, no red or green pens, highlighters or pencils. Just black pens only. So how are you going to call yourself a professional qualified teacher and still don't know that students learn in all sorts of ways? For example, I'll tell you what, writing notes using all sorts of colored ink pens helps a student to remember key notes for tests or exams. So you're just going to restrict her from just using one colored pen to write notes? So how can she even learn? That's the whole goal of your class, you retard. It's pretty counterintuitive, don't you think? Allow students to use any type of pens that they want to write notes on. I promise you, 
it's never that deep i'm pretty sure that teachers probably wanted students to get violated in school because why should we have to wear our id at all times we just needed our ids to open the gates or for when we want to grab something to eat for break or lunch time i'm pretty sure that 99 percent of students for ids are photos that they would not want to share with anyone else because of how bad and low quality it is i mean look at my id photo i look so black in that photo and yes i am black and dark skin but i'm not that black do you see the cameras they were using to take that photo of me there was some trash house computer cameras from like 1981 or something so i don't want that to be seen by others but teachers will still be like excuse me sir where's your id you must wear it at all times in the premises or it's a 50 minute detention <laughs> I swear when I hear that, it makes me want to give that teacher that Sharon God enhanced Jujutsu Kaisen Taekwondo slap to your face, bro. And man, as soon as the packers and the violators of the school see my photo ID, then at that point, I've already accepted my fate. Those motherfuckers will be like, Okay, but was that before or after you took a three foot long Fisher Price wiffle ball by shoved it up your butt, pulled your pants out, and cranked the Dougie with H.A. Reactor Dung Beetles? Damn, like, y'all didn't have to blame me like that. It's literally not my fault. It's not nice at all, man. <laughs> And students try to attempt to cover up the photo by using a permanent sticker or something. But if you get caught doing that, you get sent to the principal's office or get a detention and you have to order a new photo ID. They will seriously not help us out. So teachers, if you want your students to have good mental health and not get an killed out of nowhere, then let them not have to wear their ID for at uh, all times. It's such a stupid rule. So apparently, you could be the smartest and fastest student in the whole class. I'm talking Ted, Einstein, Isaac Newton level. Like you could get tasks, tests and assignments done before everyone else, but you will still get in trouble for it. And you might be asking, Jin Scully, what do you mean? How does that even happen? Well, I'm explaining. Let's say you and the whole class have to do a maths test and you have one hour to complete that test. So you complete it 30 minutes early and you raise your hand to the teacher notifying her that you've finished the test and you want to leave. The teacher then would literally say, no, there's absolutely no way that you're done. Re-review your papers, look for any mistake and check again if everything's good. Well, fine, cool. So I've checked all my answers and I'm happy with all my answers and I've notified the teacher again to ask if I can leave the class because I've finished. And then the teacher will say, no, you can't leave darling. You gotta wait for the timer to finish. It's just 30 minutes. It's just 30 minutes, you say. Listen, it's not my fault that the students here are slower than this motherfucker. Why do I have to stay when I just finished my test? You teachers will make me feel like I'm incarcerated or something. It's learning at the top head ass. Just let me go. And also, you wouldn't believe this, but you also get in trouble if you get perfect marks in the task because it makes the other students jealous. What? This is arguably the most retarded thing I've ever heard. The aim is to get top marks. So why am I getting in trouble over outperforming these dumbasses? Why am I getting in trouble for doing what I'm supposed to do? This literally makes no absolutely and utterly no sense. Next is the goddamn weekend detentions. Like blood, I've already been through BS in school for seven hours a day, Monday to Friday, and I only have two days off to rest and have a break or have fun without school on my ass. So why is there a rule to return to school on a weekend to do a detention? That means that you just went to school for six days. Like what are these teachers on? Why do they hate us so much to give us a side day detention? Like what have we done to you? It's not like we went to the house and destroyed all your assets or something. Weekend detentions must be the teacher's way of saying FUCK YOUR LIFE! BING BANG! Because how you gonna bring me back to school on the weekends knowing damn well I just went to that shithole for five days? Or is it the opposite where you're in love of us and you were hoping we do something a little bit out of pocket just for you to catch us and send us straight to a Saturday detention? Got me thinking you might do this. <laughs> These detentions are so boring as well. Like you can't even talk, use your phone or even sleep. They expect you to do homework that you haven't completed or just general revision. It's absolutely absurd. Hey man, that's it. I know there's a lot of dumb school rules out there. So if you have some to share, just share it down in the comments down below. And do me a favor and like, subscribe and share if you can. And hey, we just hit over 1,000 subscribers. And I'm grateful for all you all for supporting me and my videos. It pushes me to post more. So cheers. Have a good day, man. Thank you.